what's going on this is my 100th time doing this stupid video so thanks so much for tuning in this is the second episode I suppose of this Cody series today I'm gonna be looking at building playing around with uh, an Apple TV skin and then doing some things within that and yeah I'm just kinda hoping that this is helpful for someone who is looking to kinda spice things up based on the confluence skin and the kind of regular user experience of Cody so let's get right to it um, I'm gonna be using Chrome uh, for this but you can use whatever browser you like uh, basically you're gonna type in Apple TV skin Cody that's what you need and you're gonna go to the Cody forum right there you're good to go Again, it is called pineapple.tv skin. And we're just going to scroll down until you hit the repository link. Right there, the repository download link. You'll just click that. It's going to take a few seconds to come to this website. I'm going to close this real quick. But in about five seconds in the top right corner, you will see the download link after which your download will begin. And after that is all completed and good to go, you can then drag your download or like find your download find the zip file basically that we downloaded and I put mine right on the desktop just so that I know where it is and it's easy to find if you don't want to do that you can just keep it in the downloads folder that the zip uh, just downloaded in and that's totally fine so once that's done we are gonna just open up Kodi as is I'm going to actually just pause this video for one second. Alrighty, so yeah, open up Cody. And just like if you watch the first video from the other day, uh, it's going to be the same same process where you go into system and into the add-ons portion. And we're going to install from zip file. This is the same, again, the same thing that we did for Fusion. So we're going to install from zip and we are going to go to the desktop, which is where I put my zip file again. If you decided to put it or leave it in your downloads or keep it somewhere else, then that's fine. You just got to track that down, track the location down. But as I said, mine is in the desktop. So we'll install from the zip and then go up one and install from the repo. So we'll click that. Find the pineapple repo. And we're going to just cruise through this, go to the skin. And that is the final step, pineapple.tv. You're going to click it, and you're going to install it. Mine is already installed, uh, but your install should be probably up at the top or somewhere, and yeah, you'll just install it. It'll just take a few seconds, and after which it's probably going to just boot up right away into what it looks like, and so I will do the same. And so once it's good to go, this is kind of what you're going to look like. This is what you've got. So it's going to ask you, do you want to keep this? And you're going to say yes. And here we are. This is the beautiful menu, which is basically uh, an exact replication of the menus and such that are found on the Apple TV. So this is the uh, main screen. And again, I think it, it's basically the same timeline. It takes the same things that were on the timeline from the Confluence skin and just adds them into this nice little user interface with the Apple icons and that sort of thing which is awesome uh, right so the first customization thing that you can kinda of play around with is in skin settings and home page customizer so from here you're able to do a bunch of different things such as you can do shelf shortcuts so if you wanted to put your favorite add-ons in the shelf like that or that or frick that then you can go ahead and do so you can also add favorites so you could add your favorite TV shows in there which is great you can also add those same things just right on the screen itself so you could add your your suckers there you could add your favorite shows there and you have tons and tons and tons of options in order to do that on the main screen which is awesome so that's the kind of the first line of customization uh, with this skin and I, I quite like it you can't rearrange the icons yet 
but uh, I find this is uh, sufficient enough. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is actually uh, to do with the movies and TV shows. I Now, you can actually do this with basically any uh, Cody skin or basically the Cody build and tie different, uh, different libraries into Cody. So, for instance, TV shows, music libraries, and movie libraries. And then you can have it all listed within your Cody, but specifically for this build and this skin, uh, when you do so, then it obviously it goes up on this shelf and it looks really, really good. And um, yeah, I really, I really like this. It's a super easy thing to do. And again, it just pulls all the information online from online based on the uh, movies that you have based from a hard drive or a folder or a server or something like that. And so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. Um, you're going to just click movies and sorry, let's go. So it's going to show you this screen and you're going to hit files. You're going to hit add videos and browse. And this is where you're going to browse to the location of where your movies might be. This is, sorry, I forgot to preface this, but this is basically for anybody who has a collection of movies. Like maybe you downloaded a bunch and you keep them on a hard drive or again, like I said, a server or something like that, then you can, you can tie this in. So I have my movies on my hard drive. So I'm just going to click that, go down to movies and I'm going to hit OK. And so I'm going to hit OK. And so there is the location for my movies are. And you can call it movies or whatever you like. And then it's going to take a few seconds to just scan through all your movies and it'll uh, pull some information. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already set this up. But basically after which you are going to be given uh, something similar to this. And again, it'll just list all the movies that you have uh, in that location that you gave Cody. And you can list it by genre, the same way that Exodus and these sorts of things work. Title, year, actor, honestly, tons and tons of different things. Um, and it really just adds that next level of customization to something that is pretty simple. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, for your movies. You can do that to the movies. And you can do the same thing with TV shows if you have a bunch of different TV shows uh, downloaded to a similar space. Um, so the same process would be to click it, go to files, add source. And again, mine would be in the hard drive. You're going to go like that. And then, sorry, I didn't even touch on this in the last, in the movies, but you just write I don't right click, but I'm using my arrows again. So it's the right arrow. I'm going to hit OK. Call it TV shows. Hit OK. Right. And I didn't even touch on this in the last one either. Uh, so it's going to bring you to this screen. And so it's this directory contains, I had movies in the last one, but this one is TV shows. And so this is just going to pull information from this TV database. And then we're good to go. So we'll hit OK. And hit yes, and so this is what it's going to scan. So it's going to scan through my TV shows, which is not that many. There you go. And then it'll list the TV shows that I have, um, which is kind of annoying because it's separate episodes. But either way, that's how that would look. So I got my movies, my TV shows. And finally, you can do the same with music. If you have a bunch of music downloaded um, in a single space, um, obviously it's not as popular now as everyone's got Spotify and Apple Music and that sort of thing but if you did have a collection you'll just go down to files so again I just went all the way down to files and you're gonna hit add music and the same process find your music folder there's mine and right arrow hit OK that's where it's located, that's what it's called. I would hit OK and the same thing would go through. I've already set mine up, so I'm gonna hit cancel. And this is what mine looks like. So then again, up on the shelf, you can add um, your own artworks in here if they don't uh, seem to pull from the internet, which is fine. And then similarly, it'll, it'll sort it based on artists or albums, singles, whatever you have it. And yeah, so those are the three things that, again, you can do this on all sorts of Cody, but I think it looks really, really good just in this um, in this skin. Yeah. Uh, also, you can, you can play around with the weather. I hadn't got there yet, um, but that's for another day. 
the next video I'm going to try and explore the live TV option that is available through all Cody's, but um, I want to have it built into this one. And anyways, that is going to be a project. But uh, for now, that's everything I got. And thanks for tuning in. I will catch you guys on the next one.